Hi guys, welcome back. I'm CMC Barber and in this week's review video we're talking about the Babyliss Low Pro FX Clipper and Trimmer Combo. I've been buzzing to try these out as I've seen these on the American market for quite some time now and I'm glad to finally have my hands on them. They do come in this pretty basic box with a glossy outer shell, so these are definitely nowhere near as fancy as the ones on the American market. So inside the box we're greeted with the Babyliss Low Pro FX themselves and following that we've got the charging cable, the guards, the instruction manual, oil and brush. This is the same for both the clipper and the trimmer, the only thing that differs is the machine themselves. So let's get straight into the specs. The Babyliss Low Pro FX Clipper comes with a high torque 6800 RPM brushless motor with metal housing and an ultra low profile design. It's got advanced high capacity lithium battery for two and a half hours of cordless use. It comes with a low friction, low temperature, graphite zero gap adjustable wedge blade. It has eight comb attachments, 0.5, one, one and a half, two, three, four, five, and six. You've also got the LED low battery indicator that flashes up blue, a five position metal taper lever, and you can use it corded or wireless. The clipper is weighing in at around 338 grams, and you can see that in this video. It's also coming in at around 71 on the decibel reader. As you know, we always do our reviews based on five categories for an overall rating out of five. These categories are comfortability, battery life, build quality, value, and weight. First up for comfortability, I'm gonna say these clippers do come out a little bit stiff. The click lever out of the box does come out real tight, so it can be quite difficult to click between the gaps. However, once loosened, it doesn't actually feel that bad. The grooves are fairly deep, so each click is prominent, and it has a total of five clicks as opposed to four. The outer casing is a really nice design. On the back, you've got the plastic housing with the finger rests. On the front, you've got the metal housing with the thumb rest. But I do feel that the thumb rest is actually quite high up. I actually prefer to hold the clipper a bit further down, but when switching it up, using the thumb groove, it does actually feel all right. I'm not overly keen on the on and off switch, as it's really low profile, which makes one-handed operation slightly more difficult. The wedge blade is a mixture between a fade and taper blade, but for my own style of cutting, it doesn't really suit me as well as a fade blade does. I don't feel as though I can get in tight enough when I'm fading, and for clipper over comb, I don't feel quite as comfortable as I do with a traditional taper blade or flat blade. That being said, these clippers are very well built and if you enjoy the feel of a premium clipper with a mixture of metal and plastic housing, then these will suit you just fine. I do feel that these are the Babyliss version of the World Seniors, so if you've previously been using these, then I'd say give the Babyliss a go. For me, the Babyliss is coming in at three out of five for comfortability. I do feel that they could be a little bit more user-friendly. For weight, the Babyliss are coming in at 338 grams. Like I was saying just now, if you enjoy the feel of a premium clipper, then the weight shouldn't be a problem. I've been using these clippers every day for a couple of weeks now, and I'm personally not too keen on the heaviness. I prefer a clipper with a bit more agility. I like to be able to hold the clipper slightly further down and have the clipper do the work. That being said, the weight doesn't feel uncomfortable. You could easily use these all day. I've used these every day for the past couple of weeks now, and I haven't really found a serious issue with the weight. Again, this is all down to personal preference. I'm gonna give these a three out of five for weight. These aren't too heavy but they don't suit my personal taste. So that brings us on to build quality. Babyliss have done a fantastic job of making these feel premium. You've got the mixture of metal and plastic housing with a sturdy well manufactured click lever with up to five clicks. The charging cable and insert fit very snug with no chance of the cable slipping out and you've got the standard Babyliss kettle lead with a thick good quality plug. You've got the premium quality low friction low temperature graphite zero gap wedge blade so the build quality for me is going to get a four out of five. The only thing missing really is the charging dock. With no charging dock, these just sit on your station and when you take them off charge, you risk the cable falling down behind which can get really annoying. Onto battery life, the high capacity lithium ion battery comes with a runtime of 120 minutes of cordless use, which is an average of three haircuts of constant use based on a 45 minute service. You're looking at a three hour charge time for a full 120 minute runtime, and these clippers can be used corded or cordless. The charging cable is around 10 foot long, which is more than enough cable to move around your client. These do run very quiet. They're coming in at around 71 on the decibel monitor. You should have no problem using these all day as the blade stays pretty cool. I found no issues at all with overheating and the blade is never hot to touch. For the Babyliss, I'm giving them a four out of five on battery life. I've had no issue at all using these and they fit snug with their competitors at around 120 minutes runtime. Okay, so that moves us on to value. You're looking at 148 pounds inclusive of VAT and just for you guys that take the time to watch these videos, you get an exclusive 10% discount off your whole basket through our wonderful sponsors of this video, Barber Blades. You can head over to the Barber Blades website and receive this 10% discount just by clicking the link in the description below. So for value, based on the brilliant build quality, the new graphite wedge blade, the lithium ion battery and the 148 pound price tag, I think 
think you're getting a fantastic deal. These are way under the 200 pound price tag you're getting for other premium clippers. So for that, I'm giving these a five out of five. So that brings the overall rating to a 3.8. I think as an overall rating, that is great for these clippers. And as I say, that's based on my evidence and my personal preference. Points to note, the 6800 RPM brushless motor runs through here with ease. I do find that these clippers are not very well zero gapped out of the box, so you might want to adjust them closer. I felt that the zero was quite far off the trimmer and you really had to exaggerate the flick on the trimmer to fade it into the zero. The graphite wedge blade is a new design and I personally found it not very comfortable. I prefer a flat blade or even a taper blade, which helps when it comes to scooping into the blend. Everything on this clipper feels a little bit clunky, which doesn't affect use at all. It just feels a little bit more difficult to click the lever and due to the on-off switch being low profile, you have to be firm, which can be a little annoying as the on-off switch is quite stiff. This makes one-handed operation a touch more difficult. The blade and motor stays cool throughout the day and there's no real issues with overheating. The Babyliss do come with their own clipper attachments. They're super sturdy and definitely smooth to use. They are all plastic, but you can feel that they are of good quality. Unfortunately, if you use the World Premium Guards, they do fit this clipper, but there's a little bit of room between the blade and the guard, which gives a bit of a rattle. So I would say you're better off using the guards that come with the clipper. So that moves us on to the Babyliss Low Pro FX Trimmer. 